I'm Hershey Felder, and I'm bringing you clues about the world's greatest composers. Let's do Composers 2000. Hershey, please. The last concert ever given by Franz Liszt, arguably the greatest pianist who ever lived, included this work, German for a love dream. Larissa. What is Liebestrom? Yes. Uh, composer is 1600. Russian composer Mili Balakirev suggested this Shakespeare play as a subject for Tchaikovsky. But the older musicians talk about being inspired by the love of a woman suggested that he didn't know Tchaikovsky very well. Larissa. What is Romeo and Juliet? Yes. Uh, composer is 1200. George Gershwin drew musical inspiration from the real world sounds around him. The wild car horns of the Etoile and the Arc de Triomphe are captured in this work. Buzzy. What is an American in Paris? That's it. A composer's uh, 800. Back to Hershey. An immigrant from Belarus at age five, Irving Berlin felt a very personal connection to his new home, deliberately using the first person for these four words that follow the title. God bless. America. Buzzy. What is land that I love? That's it. Uh, let's do composers 400. Perhaps music's most famous motif. Is often said to represent fate knocking, but others attribute the opening of this work to the deaf Beethoven, feeling the vibrations of a little bird tapping on a tree. Alan. What is Beethoven's fifth? You are absolutely right, and our thanks to Hershey Felder for all of those categories. I saw him perform the music of Beethoven. He is just fantastic.